What's up guys? Luke checking in here. Scotch Hockey, find her on YouTube. She plays for Salt College Cougars. Motherfucker. For the Sioux College Cougars. There we go. Did I get it right? Yeah. I got it right. Yes, third try. Tell us how your season's going. I've played two games, and one of them was a shutout, because I'm a goalie. She's the girl that grew up on a small island in Canada. It's a big country, but I don't want to give away private Nobody information. Nobody knows anything. A uh, small island with a, lot, with a lot of deer on it. <laughs> wonder what it's called. Um, but yeah, so we grew up playing a lot of pond hockey together. Uh, I'd go over and visit, and most time in the winter, there'd be like little ponds frozen over, and she has this one right below her house that she spent a lot of time clearing up. She gave me like a three hour lesson on how to actually stop in my skates. Because at that point, I would just run into objects to stop. It was hilarious. We're nobodies, but we want to be somebody's one day. So we have this dream for her. Well, tell the camera, what's, what's your dream? I would like to play the highest level of hockey that I can for the longest that I can, meaning I will only stop if I start to suck or if I get too old to play and I start sucking and someone kicks me off the team. So uh, highest level of hockey is as high as you can imagine. The NHL is the women's equivalent to the NHL, so that would be the highest you can play like regularly and actually get paid to play. That is the highest level of women's pro hockey, other than um, if you played Olympics or like World Juniors or something, or NCAA hockey is like pretty close up there. Um, so just the highest I can possibly go, and I want to stay there for as long as I possibly can. Okay. I learned how to skate six years ago, and now I'm playing college hockey. From beer league hockey to more beer league hockey, but putting it on YouTube and getting the attention of what professional coaches? A uh, guy, a couple of people who have played in the NHL. Uh, Steve McKeegan, he has a YouTube channel of his own called Future Pro Goaltending. Uh, he uh, has been in contact with me quite a bit and uh, been pulling some strings for me. He was he played in the NHL one game for the Vancouver Canucks, but he was a goalie coach for the Toronto Maple Leafs for a while. Uh, then with the Marlies. And now he still does a lot of uh, coaching with, uh, you know, OHL, WHL, like still high level, high level goalies. Um, been in contact with him quite a bit, getting the attention of some, some eyes, um, and hopefully moving up in the, in the hockey world. <laughs> so from there, she got their attention. She pulled a couple strings. She had a couple people pull some strings for her, and she landed out there at uh, Sioux College playing for the Cougars, which is pretty cool. Long ways from home. Oh yeah. Long ways from home. Even further than my college was from home in Virginia, so. Yep. So that's her dream. She's chasing dreams. Uh, my dream is to have a have like a, a career of some sort. I, I don't want to say career because career usually entails 20 years. I don't think I want to do 20 years in the Air Force. But I'm going to start with four years probably if I pass my IFT next Thursday, um, which I passed the last one. So I imagine if all goes well, I'll pass this next one, and I'll I'm. More leaning towards four years. If I do six, I get a twenty thousand dollar sign on. But I'm not doing it for the money. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it to make my family proud. And I'm doing it for the country that I love the most. So from there, I'd like to probably go part time guard, commission as an officer because I have that college degree, and I want to start a, a business that has something to do with veterans, either employing veterans or a non-profit that helps veterans, um, maybe like a hunting lodge, something to that manner back in the great state of Maine, um, which has a which has a lot, which is a high density of veterans per capita for the population here. Uh, the dream's there. The dream is to get in, find something I like, do it for as long as I can before I dislike it, and then start my own business and homestead. That is the ultimate dream for me is to be able to homestead um, in the spare time that I have from running my own business. So we have some family land where I've already cleared to put a cabin and I'd, I'd really like to homestead and raise a family um, protected from the dangers of this current world. Um, so yeah, that is my dream. Air Force, small business, homestead, essentially. Um, I guess that's more of a long-term dream versus hers of just getting to professional hockey as quick as she can, but that might take 20 years. <laughs> Well, if it takes Let's hope years, it doesn't take 20 years. If I'm 40 years, but... and that's when I make it to pro hockey, I don't think I'm making it to pro hockey. You have brittle bone disease or something oh by gosh. then. Yeah, no, I'm... After hockey, my plans are pretty similar. I don't want to own my own business necessarily, but I uh, just want to... Uh, I know exactly how many dogs I want to have, how many horses I want to have, you know? Wow. Like, I don't have a pond on my property so my kids can learn to skate earlier than I did. Um, I got it all planned out. Do I 
I think it's actually going to pan out, I don't really know, because I don't know what I'm doing next year in six months, let alone, uh, you know, a few years down. Um, it's been a long, long ways getting to where we are today. A lot of taking risks, like I said, going far away from home. But at some point, you got to do that, because... I you gotta get out of your bubble. You got to get out of your bubble. You got to get out of your hometown, you know, you got to get uncomfortable. You got to see that there's other parts of the world that do things differently. Especially in Maine, because we're so isolated anyway that you know, you don't really know that there's another world that exists out there. Um, different little cultures and, you know, different things to eat. People talk differently. People think differently. People people look <laughs> different. Um, so you get out there and you realize that the world is, you know, not so scary in one way, but in another way, it is really scary in the way it's going. So my, my whole philosophy is this is a great place to grow up great place to raise kids and it's a great place to retire you know for everything else in between it's probably great too but for me I'm just not about that simple life right now and I'm gonna try and get out and take a risk get away from home again live while you can look at the scotch hockey channel oh yeah. that came out of nowhere what? like your dream my dream oh yeah maybe that's how we should just land the plane, land the plane. I like that. yeah so I'm chasing my dream Riley's chasing her dream we, that's what we want our viewers to know and you guys are welcome to come on this journey and subscribe like and comment anytime you want um, that's a great time actually if you don't have a dream sit down and think about what you want to write scratch that if you don't have a dream picture yourself 20 years from now writing a book about your accomplishments of what you've done in the last 20 years so for me I'm 22 I'm picturing myself at 42, which is still pretty young, writing a book of what I did with the last 20 years of my life, or even the last 42 at that point. That's what I think about. That's what I think about when I'm running, when I'm swimming, when it gets hard, when I'm going down to these uh, fitness tests. I don't know, that's that's really what encourages me. And we just want you guys to have a dream and to chase it. <laughs> Whatever you do, do it heartily as for the Lord. So, as we get close to our destination, check out her channel, Scotch Hockey, right here on YouTube. Subscribe. 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 Look, look for that logo. Subscribe. She wants to hit a thousand by the new year. Subscribe. And the new year's tomorrow, so you better hurry up. I'm not even going to post this until next week, <laughs> but she wants a thousand subscribers by the new year. Figure it so, out. So, figure it out. Go back in time and subscribe.